Hey everyone, how you doing? Joe here. I just realized that I really haven't done a video in quite a while and um, I don't have anything special to show you because I've been so unbelievably busy but a few people in the bunch of people that have been watching my holiday videos asked about some of the uh, decorations that I've done in the house and uh, you know I am not a, a designer or anything like that. Uh, it's just um, I know what I like and I know what uh, my wife Marianne likes and I try to proceed from there. There's something that's just comfortable. So here's the living room right here and this room isn't overly large. It's like uh, 14 feet wide by 15 feet and um, we had these mirrors put up on the wall a while back and I know a lot of people don't like mirrors on walls but here I think what it does is it kind of reflects the light from the opposite side of the windows over here and it makes the room a little bit brighter so I mean you don't have to go to this kind of extent to put mirrors on the whole wall but if you put a large mirror up opposite windows you're going to get a lot more depth to your room and a lot more light now this room also lacked a focal point so that fireplace right there is actually not real I built that fireplace in the yard one day I was busy out there and Marianne kept saying to me what are you doing out there and I said I'm building a fireplace and you know like usual she thought I was a little bit crazy but um, originally I did it for Christmas but again like I said it, this room was lacking a focal point so I just designed that fireplace to be the focal point of this room and it kind of calmed down that whole uh, mirror uh, deal going on there as well. Uh, so you see we just have you know a uh, basic love seat and couch in here there is a, a side chair right there and like I said that fireplace that I made really did bring a focus to the room and we do enjoy that there. Okay so um, as you can see we do like burgundies and greens and browns and I tried to keep the house as neutral as possible. Here in the foyer you see I have that burgundy kind of a rug and I recovered that little chair with some fabric and um, in burgundy as well and we have the lights. You can see it's it's around Valentine's Day but that's not what this video is about because I had no time to do anything for Valentine's Day. I found these little uh, old-fashioned suitcase cases at the Christmas tree shop and once again it had the colors that are kind of right for us. Now for those of you that did see the Christmas uh, the videos you know up on top of the up there remember I had the snowman villages and the snowman trees so basically what I do there is just kind of it's really difficult to see just kind of some plants there's some candles and pictures and whatnot up there here in the dining room um, you can see uh, again I I did all of this uh, work here the the um, boxes underneath and the moldings and so on and um, I did do this technique on the wall that's kind of hard to see. It's a tone on tone uh, stencil so that it catches the light in, in uh, certain ways and it almost kind of looks like wallpaper but it's not because wallpaper is absolutely uh, obnoxious to take off and very difficult to put on. So here in the dining room again we kept it with these uh, kind of like this cocoa tone and the burgundies because these rooms are kind of open to one another. Okay, so even if there's a little powder room right here. So, oh, before I go in there, see these frames also, I found these in Home Goods and they were uh, yellow in color and this was actually uh, a little mirror on these flowers. So what I did was I got the bronze spray paint and I just spray painted that whole thing bronze uh, because all our doorknobs and hinges and whatnot are all the, this deep bronze. Okay, in this bathroom here, you can see uh, again what we did was the tiles are this neutral color. We went with a French provincial kind of um, vanity. It's a very small powder room. Hi, how you doing? And uh, I found this great picture uh, right here again in home goods and it had all the colorings those these browns and these oranges and the greens and so on so uh, you know it was just like a, a perfect match for us here okay 
in here, we actually created, this was not here originally, and we created this space in here, and we made this into like a uh, butler's pantry. Okay, now, in the family room, what we've done here is we got these uh, reclining love seats, three of them, and uh, they're this, again, a neutral color. And here again, as you can see, uh, we carried through with uh, the burgundies, and now we're going into a, like a muted green. And uh, you can see that's also present in the rug. So we have here like this uh, burgundy color right there, and the muted green and the beige. And then down here, we put a uh, ottoman to keep it low so you can see through to the fireplace. So that's a good trick uh, for people that want to create a conversation area and they don't want to block the focal point, in our case, the fireplace and the TV, they can use an ottoman there and that really does the trick. I also used a lot of these, this bronze metal. You see like the bottoms of the coffee table there, uh, the bottom of this, these side tables, as well as the lamps all have that same uh, bronze look. Now, usually I know a lot of people uh, don't want to put something in front of a window, but I really needed to create symmetry. That was the phone again. Every time I make one of these videos, the phone rings. It's kind of odd. Uh, but anyway, so we uh, got these tables, and they're very light. So kind of the light passes right through them. So they're, they're there, but they're really not obstructive whatsoever, you know? So uh, those are those side tables. And again, I did that brown, that, that um, cocoa-y kind of a brown, espresso, I think that's what it's called, uh, to kind of match. Uh, and as you can see, the floors... Uh, are this uh, very chocolatey espresso brown and uh, they are actually tile. That's ceramic tile that's not hardwood um, and I'm really really happy with these floors. We had the hardwood and I'm, I'm much happy with these. Uh, here we call this room like the library and um, I like to sit in here and read sometimes and uh, in here, what I did was uh, we had this wall unit that actually housed our television before the, the flat screen TVs, uh, and it was a golden oak. So what I did was I sanded it down and I painted it with uh, um, a satin finished paint with one of those foam rollers so it doesn't leave a lot of marks, it doesn't leave any dimpling or anything like that. And I highlighted this crown molding with um, like a mustardy kind of paint that matches the kitchen. Because as you see here, I'm going to back up a little bit, you can see the kitchen over there. So I actually tried to match the, the paint color as close as possible. I mean, I don't want to be matchy-matchy, but it, uh, it does kind of like tie the whole look together. I also painted that little bureau that's right over there. Um, and I stenciled it with the same color paint. The only mistake I made here was I used the polyurethane on this one, and I think it was an oil base, and it's starting to turn a little bit yellow. So it, I might have to strip that back down again and redo that. Okay, so um, those are... Oh, and also in here, which I didn't mention to say, if you look, this uh, area rug in here has those brown and black tones with that swirl... And there is that swirl right there in the, in the uh, little stool there and in the bar area. And again, that same kind of swirly look goes with the um, coffee table and even on the screen, which is back over there in the corner uh, of the foyer, um, <laughs> corner of the family room. Okay, so when we come into the kitchen, once again, what I did, if you look, see, again, here's that same idea. We have the swirl and the bronze kind of color and this beigey kind of a color that, again, blends in with the, the rest of the, the coloring. All right, so uh, the seats in the, the, the kitchen is white, but the seats have this like a green with a slight touch of that burgundy in it again that matches the pillows that are in the family room so like I said I mean it's uh, you know it's not a designer look I don't think but 
it's again what we like and it's very neutral and it's easy to change pillows and change rugs and stuff like that and uh, you can get a totally different look in the house so uh, like I said I hope you enjoyed this like always and if you did like it and if this is one of my first videos you've ever seen please subscribe to my channel if you can and take a look at my holiday decor and hopefully I'll have something going soon once everything calms down for me. Okay, so I uh, hope everybody's well and talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.